All right, I wanted to go ahead and take a video of what exactly I'm building right now. Uh, I call it the lodge. Grant calls it the camper lodge cabin. Um, basically, it's going to be a cabin in the front and then a deck in the rear. The deck can haul toys, four wheelers, whatever. Uh, the front is going to be it's going to be bunk beds, uh, two full size beds, two fulls bunk beds in the front. Um, and then there's that corner could be, well, there, that corner could be for a closet or a water closet. Probably just leave it open, maybe put a little wood burning fireplace there. And then over here, oh, let's see, it's kind of hard with no walls. Uh, so that, that's where the beds will come to. And then from here over will be counter and then maybe some counter that hinges over in front of that window. Um, so it'll be about 12 feet of cabin area. Uh, that, that post right there is just helping to support the uh, hipped front until I end up get uh, the bunk beds built in. So it turned out pretty good. And then the roof's just going to be the metal roofing from the depot. I haven't actually used that stuff before, so that'll be interesting or expensive, one or the other. Okay, so in the back, you'd walk out here and um, the that roof line is going to extend all the way back. So it's going to be like, basically like a covered deck that you can uh, park your toys on. I should be able to, or I will be able to park the tracker on this um, so we can take it camping. Or four wheelers or whatever you could put pretty much anything on there kayaks maybe one day bicycles um, but have some built-in seats and then some built-in storage and um, maybe we'll take it skiing one of these days spend spend the night in the parking lot who knows but it should be pretty cool uh, so I hope that helps clarify anything and then the whole back is gonna be built out of metal pipe basically that stuff over there that goes all the way up there and there's some more up there. It'll attach to the roof and come back. I've got some pretty cool ideas what to what to do there and using the it's sided with the T one eleven from Home Depot, which isn't anything exciting, but plan on trimming it out with some reclaimed barn wood or just some old cedar that should really make it not look like a shed on wheels, so that's what I'm hoping for. Alright, later.